New at noon, the All-America City will celebrate the cultures that make up Tupelo. And joining us live right now is Shantae Jones with Tupelo Parks and Rec. How are you, Miss Shantae? I'm doing well. How are you? I am doing great. So tell us about this year's celebration of cultures. So this year, every year we try to have a theme. And this year our theme is Better Together because we are growing and we want to celebrate one another in unity through music, food, for sure, and dancing. Now, we do have some video from last year. Absolutely colorful presentations by all the different cultures. How important is it for, you know, people to be able to gather and get to know their neighbors here in Tupelo? Well, it's very important, um, just especially the way that the country is going. I think it's important that we know more about one another so that we're not so quick to judge, but that we're able to come together and celebrate one another. Now this year, how many cultures can we actually expect? Oh, so we have about 11 to maybe 15. So that's quite a few more than what we had in the past year. So we're getting back to our pre-COVID um, numbers, oh. which is really great. Awesome, that is great to hear. So what are some of the cultures? I saw that was Mexico, was that Mexico? That was Mexico. Oh, so we have Mexico, we have Ghana, we have the Philippines, Ireland, Italy, Laos, um, Guatemala, um, of course, the Bahamas and the USA, of course, um, Mexico, as you stated. Um, but then we also have um, different organizations that's coming out, like El Centro. Uh, we have the Family Resource Center, SAFE, and then we have an excellent young group out of Memphis, Tennessee, Young Actors Guild, coming to also celebrate with us this year. Oh, so that I'm is really excited. great. Yes. And it's good to have the vendors on tap so that if they, they can have access to resources that Absolutely. are available to them. El Centro, tell us a little bit about them if you can. Um, so El Centro is a center when um, Leticia Gassaway is one of the um, my point of contacts and it actually helps the um, Hispanic community teach them English and also teaches um, other Spanish as well, but they do an excellent job with the young people as far as like teaching them um, things about other cultures um, just to help them grow. Yeah, yes. that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, when is it going to be? So it is Saturday, September 21st, which is mm -hmm. also new because normally it's on Sunday. So we're expecting to have a really huge crowd with the weather, um, 3 to 6 p.m. Saturday, September 21st at Ballot Park. And it's free. It is free. It's but we have lots of food, lots uh -huh. of vendors. So come out, bring your appetite, bring your dancing shoes, and bring your lawn chairs oh. because we're a time is going to be had. All right. Well, thank you so much, Deshante, for joining us. We'll be right back.